What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here moving on to a couple of more examples dealing with the difference in sum of cubes. So we've got to factor each of these. So starting with this one, we got 2x to the power of 6 plus 54. So how can we factor this here? Well, notice that right off the bat, if we were to try to do a sum of cubes on this, notice that we can't really take the third root of 2. We can't really take the third root of 54. It's hard to take this and rewrite it as something to the power of 3 and take this and rewrite it as something to the power of 3. This would, uh, what we would have to end up doing is we'd have to have like the third root of 2 times x. But then we're dealing with this third root of 2. It's just going to make everything ugly. So what you always want to check with expressions that you're given that you got to factor is if you can factor something out initially. And notice that for both of these, you can factor something out initially. That's why I wanted to bring up these examples because they come up all the time. So that's always the first thing you look for. Can you make it more simple? And notice that in this case, we can. We could factor out a 2 from both of these expressions, and we would end up with x to the 6 plus 27, like that. So took out a 2, and now we got x to the power of 6 plus 27. And now notice that this, if I rewrite it over here, this is a sum of cubes. We can take this and rewrite it as x to the power of 2 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3, like that. So notice we got it in that a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 format. We got it in this format here, where the a value in this case is x squared, and then the b value in this case is 3. So now all we got to do is plug in these respective a and b values into this formula here. So we'd have x squared plus 3, and then we'd have a squared, so x squared to the power of 2 is x to the 4 minus 3x squared plus 9, like that. Okay, so this bracket here, this factors into these two brackets, and then this bracket we know can't factor further. You always want to check if this bracket could factor further, but x squared plus 3, you can't factor that. So the final answer for this would end up being 2, the 2 that we initially factored out. You got to keep it there, but then this factors into these two brackets, x squared plus 3, and then we got x to the 4 minus 3x squared plus 9. So that there is the final answer for number 1. Now, what about number 2? We got negative 5x to the 4 plus 5x. So again, you always want to check, can you factor something out of all the expressions? Notice that we can. We could factor out a 5, and we could factor out an x. And you know what? I'm actually going to factor out a negative 5x just to make this leading coefficient positive. I personally like to do that. So if I take out a negative 5x from negative 5x to the 4, we would be left with an x to the 3. Right, negative 5x4 divided by negative 5x. Notice these negative 5s cancel out. x to the 4 over x to the 1 is x to the 3. And then 5x divided by negative 5x is just minus 1, like that. So notice from here, we couldn't really take this and write it in these formats because we can't take the third root of 5. But notice when we do factor out the 5 and we factor out one of the x's, we end up having a difference of cubes. So we'd end up with negative 5x. And then this here, the a value would be x, the b value would be 1. Right? This one we can rewrite as 1 to the power of 3. So if we plug in those a and b values into this formula, this would factor into x minus 1, x squared plus x plus 1, like that. And then this you can't factor further. This you can never factor further. So that there ends up being the answer for number two. So just be on the lookout for these types of questions where you got to factor something out first from the expressions. And then after you do that, the expressions then become either a difference or sum of cubes.